is big. Uh, yeah, it's got like quite like, the bark. It has like just enough like volume and plunk. <laughs> it does like remind me of like more of like a vintage soprano. Yeah, entirely. I think I mean, that's that's what he goes for. It's meant is also made of like a similar wood combination <laughs> to this vintage. Unit. No, yeah, Ken Tim's for years. I think since the '90s has been. Um, making Martin replicas before they were even back in the game. God, this thing is so, so funny. Ah, so this is a soprano um, from Ken Tim's, and um, it sounds really fun. It's it's a lot of fun to play. It sounds good. It has that vintage look, feel, and sound to it. Um, red spruce for the top mahogany for the back and sides and the neck as you can see here um rosewood bridge fingerboard looks like it's also rosewood binding top binding a little uh, purfling rosette here and these are uh gear tuners they're similar to the gotel um, i remember seeing these before we had a couple of these as uh, spares before we would Offer them to customers as upgrade for their friction tuners. Work really nice. This is black nylon string, so the to keep it sounding and looking even more vintage. And overall, a very fun ukulele. just realized I have this um, custom Koa Martin over here. Let's give a little Ooh. one too. Very close, but it's not fair because they have two different strings. Yeah. And, you know, and the, the uh, top is spruce, but spruce top. I hear a, a lot. I hear more boldness. Out yeah, of there's the more meat on this one. Yeah, meatier. Like you get an earful of like tone and yeah. balance volume. That mid range is just punching. Yeah. 